I'm going to show you how to use some of the more advanced permission levels to control which user groups can edit particular elements in your application. Let's use a cola of template as an example. This template is similar to Airbnb and allows hosts to list their properties and guests can browse and book them. In this example, we want to allow the hosts to edit their own listings, but not for other hosts' listings. We also want the guests not to be able to edit any of the host listings either. So let's get started and set this up. First place we want to navigate to is the settings on the left hand panel. Then across to the user groups and permissions. I'm going to double check our user groups that we've got set up. In the CoLive template, it already comes with two preset user groups, which are guests and hosts. And then as default, we have logged in users. So that's is all set up. Next step, we want to create our first permission. We select edit permissions, and then we need to define a title. Select the user group. And then select the, the, the base to apply these permissions to. We're going to select the CoLive template. And then we want to then direct the correct table. In this example, it's going to be the apartments. So where at this stage, we have all the different fields that we can apply the edit permissions to for the hosts. As you can see, if I click on the toggle, I've got the granular options to define each particular field and which ones I want the host to be able to have access to edit. In this example, I'm going to let them access them all and edit them all. Now we want to go into the record level permissions. This is where we can set up the particular condition. So we need to select the toggle to get the advanced settings. And then we want to add our first condition. In this condition, we are going to select the host's email. And then that needs to be their email address, which is the logged in user's email. Then all we all need to do is create the permission. Now we can see this new permission is being created. Lastly, all we need to do is navigate back into the studio. In this case, we want to go to the list details page and select the block. Once the block's been selected, we want to then select the user group, which we want this particular permission level to apply to on this particular block. So let's start again. All we need to do is add the user group from the two predefined ones. And in this case, we want to add that to the hosts. Then all we need to do is click publish for the changes to come into effect. Once published, we'll visit the site. Now, uh, one way to test this is now to select a listing that is not my listing to see if I can actually edit it. As you can see, there's no edit icon appearing. Now let's check if we can edit my own record. Click on my listing. And as you can see, I can now edit my own listing. And I've got access to each of the fields that I have provided permission to. Now let's double check if a user can then do any editing. So I'm on a user account now. And again, they have no access to any of the list details or the ability to edit.